yeah, I think uh, I would prefer to play out in the snow than jump into that cold polar water. But it is polar bear weather, and yeah, the polar bear, well, most of us are up to our ears in this snow. But there are some ways to, of course, have a little fun. You can do some snow stencils, or you can take a walk along South Shore Beach and look at the cool, colorful art like Stephanie and Princess were doing earlier today. Winter weather advisory does continue, though. The snow is unrelenting. It does continue until 6 a.m. on Monday morning. That doesn't mean the snow is going to stop at that point. I think we're actually going to watch the snow stopping before then. But Mother Nature giving some free advertisement for all the ski hills out there, and the rock looks pretty packed out in Franklin. Uh, those tubing lines were looking pretty full uh, just a little bit ago. 25 degrees there, so it's not too cold to enjoy the snow at least. Maybe a bit too windy for some folks, but of course, we're hardy Wisconsinites. We can deal with that. The snow is picking up in intensity, though, especially from Oconomowoc to Heartland over through Menominee Falls with temperatures in the 20s. You can see a little bit more moderate band pushing through Shorewood as well as in Glendale. Up to the north, lighter snow has been reported. The chief uh, fire... <laughs> Uh, fire chief up in Fond du Lac reporting only a trace of snow. That's going to start to increase a little bit. Similar story out in Sheboygan, just a trace of snow so far, but down to the south and along the lakefront, that's where we've been seeing some higher snow totals. And of course, it is snowing much more intensely across portions of Walworth County at the moment, as well as Jefferson County. This intense snow is going to start to move into Waukesha and Milwaukee County in the next half hour or so. All part of a big storm system that is eventually slowly going to make its way off to the east, but we are still dealing with these snow bands from the main heart of that snowy system. Just got a few more updates on some snow totals. Uh, George in Brookfield picking up five and a half inches so far. Fort Atkinson up to four inches. Twin Lake up to about 3.8 inches of snow. Mequon 3.7 and Dowspin about three and a half inches of snow. And of course, yes, we're not done just yet. This is going to transition though from the typical snow, steady snow after about seven, eight o'clock. This is going to turn more into a lake effect band snow and notice off uh, west of West Bend as well as in Waukesha. Snow is going to basically come to an end by about nine o'clock. There'll still be a few flurries, but look at these lake effect bands. It's those stream lines that are basically a nice diagonal. Those are going to happen from about 8 p.m. until about 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, making their way from Sheboygan down to the Milwaukee area by about 2 o'clock a.m. And then we continue into tomorrow morning. Notice by 7 a.m. That lake effect band has pushed out over the lake and it's going to stay that way because the wind direction will be from the north. So that keeps it away from land. So the snow machine will be turned off by the morning commute. We'll just have to deal with the cleanup behind the snow that we're witnessing throughout the day today. Getting into your Tuesday, some sunshine arrives. It's been a while since we've seen that and temperatures aren't going to be too terrible. Talking upper 20s for your Tuesday, and even warmer weather ahead. How much additional snowfall are we talking though? Generally about a half an inch to maybe up to an inch in our western counties. The closer you are to Lake Michigan, more like two to almost three inches of additional snow from what we've already got on the ground at the moment. So yes, the steady snow will continue. I think by about 8 p.m. That's when the lake effect starts to kick on up. Heavy uh, snow totals will be, of course, by the lakefront. 20 degrees your overnight low tonight. And then for your Monday on President's Day, 25 degrees, so still a bit on the cool side, but we will see a little bit of clearing by the afternoon. A lot more sunshine in your Tuesday with a high of 27 degrees. Another snowy system on Wednesday. I just forecast the weather, folks. I can't help you shovel. I'm sorry. 33 degrees. This one you may see a little bit of a little bit of a wintry mix uh, with this one, but I think most of us will see mainly snow. 40 by Saturday, though. All right. Good to hear. Thanks, Jesse. Come on.